Good morning, everyone. Today I'm going to share with you a recipe that I really enjoy eating, and it's a raw dish, and it's basically a tuna salad. I tried Chris Carr's recipe way back and I really enjoyed her recipe but I added a little spin off of it so I hope you're gonna enjoy this recipe and we're gonna start off with one cup almond and half a cup sunflower now you want that as small as you can get it I always soak mine overnight because it makes it a lot softer so this recipe started off as a Chris Carr recipe and then I kind of just put that little Italian twist to it. Okay, here we go. You're going to start off with one cup of soaked almonds and half a cup of sunflower seeds. So you want to kind of break this up as much as you can. But to this, I'm going to add some really good olive oil. This is a real nice, thick, there we go. We're going to put about two tablespoons of some really nice cold pressed olive oil. And we're going to add a little bit of salt. Not that much because we're going to put also some seaweed. So we're going to put about maybe a half a teaspoon of salt because the seaweed's going to be a little, um, it's going to be a little salty. Now, you can use any seaweed you want. I'm just going to put very little because believe it or not, this will expand to a massive amount of seaweed. So I'm just using very little seaweed. And when I blend this up, you're going to see that it actually swells up. So it's going to break into pieces. There's going to be a lot of seaweed. It doesn't look like there's a lot, but believe me, that is going to be a lot of seaweed. Now, if you don't have... Uh, the seaweed that I'm using, I'm going to show you mine, it's a very large, large package of seaweed. They sell dulse flakes and you can use that. And if you don't want to put seaweed, you don't even have to put seaweed if you don't want to. So that's going to go into my food processor and we're going to just mix this up to get it as small as we can. You want as small as you can the bits. So we're going to just process this. Okay, so here we go. Now when you make this, it's always better to make it the day before and serve it the day after because all the flavors are going to blend and marry each other and it's just going to taste just wonderful. Now, if you want it extra fishy, then add more. Just add extra, extra adults. That really is up to you how fishy you want it. There we go. Okay. Now, to this, we're going to add about a tablespoon of diced capers. I have a small to medium onion, about a half a cup of celery diced up really small, and we're going to mix this up. Well, actually, you know what? I'm going to cut up my, I've got some, a small handful of fresh dill. Now this is really up to you how much you want of all these extras. But this is going to add a nice, nice taste to it. And make your tuna look great. Now, like I said, if you um, don't mind if it's not completely raw, uh, then you could also add a little bit of jackfruit. But I would not mince up my jackfruit. What you need to do is remove the core of the, the green jackfruit pieces. And you're going to flake the flaky part of the jackfruit and that's what you're going to use in your dish because otherwise you're just going to get that crunchy bit in your tuna salad and that's not what you want now this is great if you're making sandwiches for work this is a great great 
uh, dish to uh, to have ready in your refrigerator so whenever you're hungry or you want to have a fast little lunch you can make a little bit of tuna or tuna less sandwich I'm gonna put just a little extra flakes of dulse not a lot and like I said you don't have to put this in if you don't want to that really is up to you so I'm going to take this and I am going to put, okay, we put the salt. I'm going to taste it again for my salt. I might add just a little extra olive oil. And I am going to put, oh, here it is, a little bit of white vinegar. That's about a tablespoon of white vinegar. Now, normally I would also put a little bit of heat but because my granddaughters are coming over today I am not going to do that to them <laughs> otherwise the poor kids are going to be screaming okay my mom used to put a little bit of lemon zest but because I don't have any lemons I have a little bit of key lime and I'm going to use just a little bit of zest there we go and I'm going to add a little bit of this key lime juice. Now you can use lemon, you can use lime, you can use key lime, you can use whatever you want. There we go. Did I get a seed in there? Of course I got a seed in there. Okay, try to get the seed out. All right, there we go. Now we're gonna start mixing this. And we're going to check it for salt. Now I'm going to put just a little squeeze of mustard. And I'm going to be putting a little bit of my homemade mayo. Now if you want this completely raw, I say to use um, cashew mayo and since I'm not worried if I'm not a hundred hundred percent. I'm going to use some of the mayo I make, but I will taste it first. Mm, so good. It doesn't need a little more tang though, and a little more. Yeah, let me get some mayo. Now, someone asked me how long does my mayo last? Well, it lasts pretty long. The thing is that in my house, it never really lasts that long. My husband goes through this like crazy. Okay, so here's a little bit of mayo. I put about maybe two tablespoons of mayo. I do need a little extra salt. So again, salt is really up to you how much you want. And if you want to use more onion, use a larger onion. I use like a smallish, medium size onion. But if you want to use a larger onion, go ahead and put a larger onion in it. I mean, it's great to have recipes. You know how many recipes I've tried of other people? And when I went and tasted this, like, mm, I would have done this. Well, the same thing goes with my recipes. If you guys want to change it up, change it up and add what you want to your recipe. We're going to put some black pepper. Doesn't it look like tuna? Well, maybe not exactly, but it does in my eyes because since I stopped eating any form of animal, this is just God sent food for me. So a little bit of the... Again, if you don't want that much black pepper, don't put it. If you want some heat, put that in. taste that my god so good mm. who needs to kill fish when you've got this really I gotta make more mayo 
since these key limes are so small, I'm just going to squeeze one more in. Or I could use a little extra white vinegar. My mom used to use white vinegar. She never used to put the as much citrus as I do. And check. If you want to put extra dill, put extra dill. It really is up to you. Mm, I forgot my maple. I'm just using just a little bit, about maybe a teaspoon of maple. And I always use the dark amber maple. But you can use any maple you want. And if you don't want to use maple, don't use the maple. So that's how easy it is to make this tuna. And this is going to be just awesome. There we go. Just a little squeeze of mustard. I'd say about maybe a quarter of a teaspoon. And taste. Taste for salt, taste for citrus. It really is up to you. So, so good. I wish you could taste this. I am going to put some extra dill and I'm going to use a little buttons because I hate to waste anything. And it's going to also look pretty in the sandwich because it has the little bits, thicker bits of green. There we go. Waste not. And there is your yummy tuna. And you can keep this in the refrigerator and it's going to last a nice long time in the refrigerator. It only gets better. And you've got lunches for the week and really, really good. Doesn't matter if you're raw or if you're not, this is something that you must try. So guys, give this a go. And if you like recipes like this, give me a thumbs up, share with your friends, and I'll see you in the next one.